Hello everyone and welcome to my 2021 Hero Easter Guide. So Diablo 2 Resurrected is out and everything I'm going to be talking about in the video is also working on that new resurrected version of Diablo 2. Nothing changed from the original game to now. Hero Easter still works, save file still works. And the reason why I'm actually doing this, my old guide, uh, which I'm also just going to show you now in the top video of the corner if you want to see it, I think it's like four years old now so, it still works completely fine, there are no uh, real need to maybe change it, but I still wanted to now make a build in Heritor from scratch, showing you, yeah, pretty much every step. So this is my Rift Assassin, or my Kicker Assassin. I'm also gonna be doing a video soon enough uh, on this build where I just kinda compare uh, two versions of this, either Rift, Woolward, or using a Stormlash or another weapon. Also just gonna show you some stats items, just some trap skillers here. 42, Lacerate is another really good uh, yeah, weapon option, and also Flesh River and Thunder Gods. So this is the build that I'm going to be doing in here is a getting every single item which you see now on the screen on that build and also just a small little promo you can download uh, i think now with this build it's going to be 35 builds in total which you can just download and try them out for yourself if you don't want to spend i would say about the one and a half hour to maybe two hours that it takes to kind of build uh, you know this from scratch here here it says not that fast to use so you maybe just want to download some of the builds that I've already done. So the very first thing you need in order to kind of start doing here is the builds is two item packs. I don't know if there are you know better ones out there, but these are the two ones that I always used. The first one is just found through Reddit. I linked that also to the original guide, and yeah, you can just kind of go through the links there. And the other one is just uh, yeah for media file. It's just uh, another little download. And again, nothing is secure on the internet. If you download anything from the internet, please do get something like malware bytes, or at least uh, make sure that you're updated your Windows. Maybe you have some extensions in your browser or whatever. Always make sure before you download these two packs that you feel safe. Uh, it is the internet, and it's really old, uh, you know, stuff that you're downloading, which can easily be full with malware or whatever. Uh, Saying that, I have never had that happen with Heritster, uh, but just make sure that you do a scan afterwards. So once you have the two item packs installed, you're just also just gonna install Heritster, and that's pretty much it. Now, I also want to note a little thing for Diablo 2 Resurrected since I was testing this out, um, as I was doing this video here and whatnot. You can make Heritster work on Diablo 2 Resurrected, but the whole process is a lot more cumbersome. You have to exit completely out when you're editing files. It's much like installing add-ons in, say, uh, World of Warcraft, where you can't install or change files while you have the game open and so on. It's very, very cumbersome. And also, you can't... Uh, like, the game doesn't trade files from Diablo 2 Resurrected down to uh, Diablo 2. Uh, so save files are not really gonna work uh, for the old game. Uh, there, are, there are some small minor changes in the background which I think Blizzard uh, probably couldn't avoid or whatever. So Hero Editor is best done still on the original old Diablo 2 game, but you can also make it work on Hero uh, on Diablo 2 Resurrected if you want to. Still, I don't recommend that just because it's so much slower as well. But the thing is, you can move the complete uh, save files which you make on the old game to Diablo 2 Resurrected with no issue, no problem at all. So once you have everything installed and you're ready to move on, you're gonna find your item packs. I like to pin these to quick access just to yeah, access the folders and whatnot a little bit faster because you're gonna go in and out and in and out of them a lot. Um, but um, yeah, Kingpin here has... Uh, character files they also have like templates of fully made builds already like you see a lightning uh, sorceress or frenzy barb or whatever but i don't really like to use those i always just like to make my own so we're gonna go into unskilled and here's the thing the very important detail 
you don't work with a file in this folder you can do that but then it's gonna save to this folder not the diablo 2 uh, save folder so it's not really gonna show up so what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy the unskilled file uh, here in this folder and then you're gonna find your save folder for diablo 2 and this is the same for both the old Diablo 2 and Diablo 2 Resurrected. You're gonna go into your C drive, if that's how you named your system drive or whatever. You're gonna go into users, then you're gonna find your username for your computer, or how it was named. And then you're gonna go down to saved games. And that's it. And this are uh, either gonna be Diablo 2 Resurrected if you bought it or Diablo 2. And now you can just, uh, yeah, <laughs> add some other save files from just before, but we can just quickly uh, delete those later or whatever. And I'm gonna say paste. Oh, and I'm gonna just replace the file now. It's fine. And now it's in the folder. And now I should be able to open Diablo 2 and go in here and see that I have my file ready. Also, with just a Funny little item that I just imported to kind of show you that uh, it works and everything. And that's pretty much uh, the introduction and on the basics on how to make it uh, work. So let's move on with actually creating the build. So now we have come to the next part. Um, you're gonna open the file which you just pasted into your, yeah, uh, your save file and everything. So we're just gonna find it. And this is the file that we are now working on. And now a little tip, once we have done all the other steps here, I like to name it, um, kind of just better for visibility or whatever. So I'm gonna trap, uh, let's say, I think I'm gonna mine mine Kicker Assassin. And then you're gonna hit rename. And you're gonna hit save. And now you see that I have also the name character and the unnamed file. You can always just delete the uh, files that you don't want afterwards. It's really easy. In fact, I can just uh, show you now as well. Uh, just gonna go and delete them like right now, actually. And now you see it's gone, but only the Kicker Assassin. Just quickly go into it again, and that's it. So the first thing I always like to do is just uh, being real about myself. There are some items that the item pack doesn't have, so you can't import you know, all of the items that you might want. So I like to start out with the hardest item first. And the hardest items for this build is going to be hopefully trying to make a JMOG 2020. Uh, that is pretty complicated and I don't think it might necessarily, um, I might not get that working. And the other is making a Rift Wound World in a War Scepter. And to start this process, we need to first get the basis, and then I'm gonna go into extras, item, character, and create. And the first base I'm gonna get is a monarch. And the other item, which I'll just pick up in just a little while, um, extras again, should be under, let's see, wavefronts, and it should be under scepters here, or scepter. And there you go. So that's the start. Now, sadly, when you import like this, they also come indestructible. We don't want that. That's not purely legit. So I'm just going to change the durability. And I'll just change the durability like I do now. Uh, so you don't get any weird pop-up errors. Just type the durability before the zero. Uh, that's just a little, yeah, a little time saver. So uh, 55 durability, that might not be legit, but who really cares? It's not uh, that important. And we're just gonna change it again here. And always click save modified item when you are working on files like that. And now we also need to get them sockets. So we're gonna go into metric attribute editing. Then we're gonna go into number of sockets. Oh, wait, actually, I forgot the first step. Uh, we need to first go into uh, socketing if possible, make item socket. And the same thing for the war scepter. So now they are socketed. And you can see that the war scepter has gotten one too many sockets. So we need to go into metric attribute editing and then go down to number of sockets. And again, I'm just gonna hit a little 
0 before it and now change it to 4. And that's pretty much it. So that was the f way to kind of get bases for rune words or whatever you might need. Now we need to get some sockets for uh, rift rune word. And I like to just do it through the item packs. It's just a little bit easier, I suppose. So I think the first rune was uh, hell. So hell rune there. Now... Uh, Cow rune or co rune, as some people might like to call it. KO is just cow in Danish, so it's kind of funny. But uh, yeah, okay, I think I went a little bit wrong there. Just have to go out again and click KO. Sorry, I went wrong there. I was spelling it wrong. And now, uh, Dol rune. And I think the last rune was... Ah yeah, a limp rune, that's true. And you... And there you go. So that's the four runes that we need for the war scepter. And now we will tr make that first. Yeah, I think it's best we make that first now. So now we come to a bit of an annoying thing. Rift rune word is ladder only. And in order to make ladder uh, rune words, you either have to use like a... Uh, modified uh, for, uh, game which I have done in my case or you can install like mods like Pluggy or whatever Diablo 2 Resurrected fixed that so you can make letter room words also on single player or whatever so that's pretty nice and everything but yeah uh, you're, you're just gonna have to kinda uh, find some ways around this uh, but yeah, I have my little Diablo 2 ladder room word, which I call it here. And uh, yeah, oh yeah, you also can't run more than one instance. So now I can just go into the game. Uh, open my f uh, assassin again. Uh, let's see. That was the order of the room word. L, cow, lem, and doll. And let's see the roll. If you're not satisfied with your rolls that you get from room words, you can't just keep re-rolling them. Or just specifically editing the stats and here is it which is usually much faster. And now it's also important while you're in your modified uh, Diablo 2 whatever. Um, always just save and exit correctly. And exit out of it completely. That's just a good tip. And that's pretty much it for this little room word uh, tutorial here. But uh, a thing you should also note now that I've done something in game. Not in here it is, I need to open the uh, file again. So we're just gonna open it, and now you can see that the runes at the bottom here disappeared, but I have my made War Scepter. And I'm pretty happy with my rolls, they were not that good, but uh, yeah, I can also just show you how you would perhaps edit them. I could go to, uh, let's see, rune magic down here, and I think we could change the stats just to be 10, just for fun. And always hit save modified. I'm just gonna hit save again. And now it's rolling 10 to all attributes, which is the max roll. And now time to try and make a JMOG. I don't think I've ever done this in Hero Ages, but uh, yeah, this is going to be a bit of an experiment if I can do it, because I do think it was maybe a bit challenging, perhaps. But yeah, the menus here for the specific editing are pretty long and everything, um, but there are hopefully some way to. Do it so magic attribute and then just go down to the list. And I would guess I would have to look at something like maybe extras. So nothing in here. Then perhaps defense. Just have to find the folders. Can take a little bit of time. There you go. So nothing in there as well. And yeah, this is kind of what I always end up doing, trying to find the right menu for the thing I want to do. Faster block rate. Cool. Found it. So that's the first one. 30% faster block rate. Yes, please. And now we need to find the increased chance of blocking as well. So chance of blocking. Cool. So now I found both of them. And I'm going to change that to 20. At least I think this was how uh, a perfect JMOG rolls. Uh, do let me know about it in the comments if I'm wrong about that. Anyways, so that's the base done. Now 2020, so what does that mean? Well, 
now we come to the easy part. From now on, it's literally just clicking like five times for an item. You just import, import, import. It's very, very easy from now on. So we will go into the item packs and just type um, cold. Because I know that's going to show up with... Um, Maybe it is. Maybe it didn't because I went into. Yeah, I just have to be on the start page. Yeah, so Kingpins lacks a few uh, things that the other, uh, yeah, folder has. So I think I should be able to find it now. Or maybe not. They changed to. Uh, they name it something else. I'm just gonna do pass it instead. Oh yeah, they call it ice <laughs> and not cold, but okay. Potato, potato, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna do just a lot of die. So four of those. And now you can you kind of just pop them in or you can also just go into the game and do it yourself. But I like to just do it like this. So that's it. That's a JMark 2020. And now it's really just easy. I know I'm going to be using, say, Dracul's. And yeah, yeah, I guess you don't really have to have to show you uh, the next long part here. But this is just uh, for showing that now I also imported Dracul's. And I think I'm just going to yeah skip ahead now because you kind of understand how to do everything uh, yourself by now. A quick note also on just directly searching. Sometimes you might want to search like for... Um, like a set item or something like that and it doesn't really work if you search for the name uh, in my case I just want a GUI Lam's face uh, so GUI should be enough to kind of find it but it's not enough so you also sometimes need to find the yeah the set uh, name and then find the folder directly from there so that's also just a little thing to note if you're kind of confused on that because that can be a bit annoying and so we are done with the build and the guide as well wanted to also just note that I had to upgrade my goblet toes but that is the same process as making leather only room words again use a mod like Pluggy or mod your yeah folder or whatever as I talked about there's a lot of annoying steps uh, even if I'm would say I'm pretty fast at it nowadays to kind of make a build you can end up spending like at least an hour maybe two hours on some builds uh, but overall, this is the build, um, yeah, here is, a <laughs> it's really really nice to just be able to test out things, no it's nothing about playing on legit or whatever, it's really just about, okay you have an idea, do you want to commit, uh, you know, hundreds of hours, maybe 50 hours or whatever, to level that build up, get the gear and everything, or do you just want to test it out and get a feel for it, if you do want to play, uh, you know, uh, purely legit uh, online or offline, however you want to go with it. But uh, yeah, I hope you found this useful. Again, if you have any questions at all, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I do want to uh, try to at least answer all the, uh, you know, the comments that I get and so on to help people out. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Fun little thing to again take a look at. It was four years ago since I did a similar video. So yeah, sadly, it might not really work that good for, you know, Diablo 2 Resurrected. But again, you can just import all the files over. And I think I'm just going to end the video with that, uh, showing that uh, that part also works just fine. So now we are back out here again uh, on the saved games, uh, going into the Diablo 2. And you can see all the little, yeah. The files for my Kicker Assassin. You highlight all of them, you hit copy, then you go back out again, go to Diablo 2 Resurrected. And in case uh, there's just any confusion, this is my old Assassin which I was messing around. We can also just keep those for now. And I'm just gonna paste. And you can see it was all pasted in every little folder. And now I'm just gonna cut here and get into the other game. And so we are back in Diablo 2 Resurrected, and it works just fine. So let's just log in on the yeah long loading screens. I feel like Diablo 2 Resurrected is not that fast to load into games. But yeah, we will just have to kind of deal with it. And so that's it for the video. I guess I can just quickly go out and do like a Eldritch run. 
They are cold immune up here. So it's not that fun. But uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Again, I really, really like Hero Racer. It saves a lot of time. Um, maybe some people are a little bit annoyed by it. I understand that a lot of maybe more legit concerned players are uh, focusing on that sort of aspects and everything. But I really just, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's just have some fun here. I doubt that I'm gonna do... Oh, I had my wrong bind on. There, there you go. So yeah. Oh, it's just so easy. It's so easy at this gear level and everything. But uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Again, if you have any comments, just leave them below. But that's it for the video. So have a good one and goodbye.